guys, it's Mari and I'm here today with another 12 by 12 process video and I'm working still on my vacation pictures from the summer of 2015 and a vacation that we took out to Ontario and <clears throat> on this particular layout I'm focusing on a day that we spent in Montreal. So I'm just working on some craft cardstock there. I'm going to stick that down to some black uh, textured cardstock and I'm just going to use that as my base and go from there. So I seem to be on a roll lately with rounding the corners of my paper and I did that again on this layout. I don't know, I just kind of like the way that looks. So this is some craft market paper from Crate Paper and I really really liked the red tone in this print and it really matches the photograph very very well which you'll see um, once I get that on there so just gonna get that down it's kind of got a little bit of a, a chevron pattern on it and then I'm just gonna use the other side of it which has some kind of wonky text going every different different direction as uh, just a finishing strip there where those um, where those two pieces of paper the craft I guess and that uh, other pattern paper come together so you can see the tone in that red in the picture really goes nicely with that red tone in um, that on that craft market paper so I just stuck a little bit of uh, pattern tissue paper there from Hazel and Ruby down as a layer behind the photograph and I'm going to stick it to that um, pattern paper from the Wonder collection that looks like corrugated cardboard and I just thought that went nicely with that, <clears throat> with that brown tones or that kind of craft tones in, uh, in the layout. So um, as I'm working away here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about this photograph. So um, in Old Montreal, which, which isn't actually that, that large of a section of Montreal, but in Old Montreal, there's, there's a lot of buildings that have, you know, huge history and real character. And this is one of them. And every time we go to Montreal, I always want to go back to this spot. And, and I it just, I love it. And sadly, when we were there this time, there was a whole bunch of construction going on on that street. And um, I just, I said to the kids, you know what, we're going to find a way to make this work. Um, I'm going to take a picture of you in the doorway of the building. But this is the Pierre du Calvé building. And it was established, you can see the date on, well, maybe you can't, I don't know. The date on the photograph is 1725. And it's one of the older um, buildings in old Montreal. And it's the oldest historical house in Montreal that's open for public accommodations. And you can stay there. There's a, like I said, there's a hotel in there. There's a restaurant. And the hotel is absolutely gorgeous. And it costs about 300 bucks a night to stay there. Um, we never have stayed there because um, usually when we go, we just stay at the train station just because it's really handy to for all the transportation and everything. But, um, oh my goodness, it is just such a really, really cool historical site. So if you ever go to Montreal, you have to visit this spot. It's really, really neat. and. It's just steeped with history and you just feel like you're in, I don't know, an old European city or something. It's just the, the, the um, ambiance of France is alive and well there. It's, it's gorgeous. I love that part of the city. It's, it's unbelievable. And uh, I've said this many times when you're in old Montreal, um, you feel like you are in a foreign country or in Europe, but you get to pay for everything with Canadian currency, <laughs> which is quite an advantage these days, it turns out. So I'm using a whole bunch of little bits and pieces from the craft market collection here, or at least some of the bits I'm using. But what I'm really using a lot of here is this um, crepe paper line I don't even know really for sure what it is I think it's an old Maggie Holmes collection or something and maybe some of you will recognize it but I bought a bunch of it at a scrapbooking store that had a bunch of you know older stock and I just I think I, I'm repeating myself here but I felt like I had found a gold mine so I'm using some of those bits and pieces on here that are um they're like chipboard pieces in that and 
this is what you see me using right there is a chunk of the specialty paper from Craft Market. And I wasn't really sure how I was going to use this paper after I got it. And so what I ended up doing here with this portion of it is I just um, uh, cut the, the chevron bit off of it. And <clears throat> I'm going to just glue that because I'm going to glue it on because it's really super sparkly. Um, by the way, this pattern always reminds me of Charlie Brown. I tend to think of it more as a Charlie Brown pattern than chevron. But anyways, that's dating myself here a little bit. So um, that gold sparkly and then um, I'm just going to take those, um, as I already mentioned, those chipboard pieces like the, the flowers there and put those on. You know what I really love about those pieces, those chipboard pieces is they're not really, really thick like those new chipboard sheets that you get, but they're not thin. They're just kind of somewhere in the middle. And I really like working with them because they add a really nice texture to the layout, but they're not, they don't sort of, you know, they're not really thick, which sometimes I find those really thick ones hard to work with. And this camera came from that same crepe paper, that older crepe paper line too. So I don't know if you remember what it's called, leave me a, a comment because I honestly have no idea and um, it would be nice to know, right, what, what that is. So I think I, I chucked out, I just opened the packages up and put them in a container and chucked the packaging away, so I'm not sure. But the inspiration for the blue bits and pieces come from that piece that I just added there, that kind of that floral standout piece. And it's got kind of like a little really pretty soft blue gem in the middle of it. So as I was working away on the layout, I thought, you know, I really want to work some blue in here because the blue looks really nice with that red. And the craft market definitely had those colors in it as well, the red and the, the teal or the aqua, mint green, whatever, um, those tones. And so I was working on kind of getting that into the, the layout as well. So I'm just kind of trying to create some different embellishment clusters there. And once I'm done that, I'm pretty much done the layout. That's really all there is to it. So I added the title, which is magical because I think Montreal is one of the most magical cities. I love it. I just love it there. If I could live in another city in Canada, it would probably be Montreal. I do speak some French. Um, I used to teach French. I'm a language teacher and I, that's all I used to teach was just English and French. And, um, so I think I could manage, I could survive quite nicely there. And it's just a fabulous city. Highly recommend it. And don't forget, they have poutine and they have Elvis poutine there. I'm not even kidding you. I think it has chili on it and hot dogs. It's unreal. Um, so I'm just uh, trying to absorb up some of those little um, spots that of the Heidi Swap color shine that I put on there in the gold. And I'm going to take this, uh, I don't know if I do, I can't remember if I do this on camera or not, but there's a new color and I think it's called Peacock. And I end up splattering that on there too because I really like the blue. And if you look in the pictures, I add a strip of blue craft market paper to the bottom of the layout too. So you can see that in the, like I said, in the still shots that are coming up at the end of this video. So I just had a lot of fun creating this in my craft room. It, it was a really, really quick layout. Um, captured this moment um, when my husband and I and my daughter and her boyfriend went on this trip and in the photographs picture of Bailey and Brady in that doorway and it was a really magical day for sure and it was Brady's first time in Montreal so we even got to go to the Bell Center and one of these days I'm gonna scrapbook um, the pictures that we took at the Bell Center of me and some of my favorite guys you know Carrie Price, Max Pacioretty, all those guys because they're awesome. Anyways, that's my layout for today. So thanks so much for joining me and I'd love to have you subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. So I'll see you next time guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.